Okay, so the Dell XPS lineup of laptops, they are one of the most premium Windows 10 laptops that money can buy right now and it has a lot of good stuff built into this laptop right here. It has a bright and beautiful screen with thin bezels all around with maximized footprint since it's using a 16 by 10 aspect ratio screen and it also has a 4K resolution, touch capability, good keyboard, nice trackpad and also a really nice laptop design overall and it's just a very joyful laptop to use so in today's video we'll go through some of the things that i did to improve the dell xps 15 9500 that i have here to suit my personal needs so i think we'll just go through like five different tips so let's begin So the first thing that I and many others will say is to quote unquote remove the bloatware and I realized that I ended up not removing most of the pre-installed software because Dell has a lot of useful utilities. I ended up keeping a total of like I think four different utilities so I have Dell update for obvious reasons and then support assist for actually diagnosis purposes and warranty checking then the third one is Dell power manager and the fourth one is the Dell premier color software. So this is tip number one, keep all of these four utilities installed in your XPS laptop. Well, I think both the Dell Update and also the Dell Support Assist softwares and utilities are pretty much self-explanatory. So let's head into tip number two, which is about the Dell Power Manager software. Well, this utility right here is actually a one-stop app for managing your XPS in terms of battery and also its performance like how the battery level, the battery health and also how much the battery is charged to be considered full is also managed in this Dell Power Manager software. These settings here are very useful if you want to get the most out of your battery in terms of how long it lasts with you throughout the years because battery deteriorates over time as it gets used. You can also set a schedule of how the laptop should be charged and whatnot but if that's all too complicated for you, then there's always the ever magical adaptive mode. So it will learn how you're using the XPS laptop and then it will automatically adjust its settings for you. For me though, I'll just set it to primarily AC use because that's how I use it anyway because I'll be plugging it into the wall just to edit videos and that requires quite a lot of power. And then now comes tip number three. It's still within the Dell Power Manager utility, but this time it's about the performance. And inside this little tab here, you can select thermal management. And we are presented with a total of four different options right here. And they are all distinct from each other as well. By default, you'll be using the optimized mode and the laptop adjusts itself to however we use it. This pretty much works out most of the time, but in some occasion though, the fan ramps up when I open Spotify and that's just a little bit weird for me. And then there's also the option to go for either cool or quiet options. Well, they are both actually very distinct from each other. Cool means that you still thermal throttle your laptop, but the fan will still kick in to keep everything cool at a lower temperature. But if you want to go for quiet though, overall the laptop gets a lot warmer because the fan is throttled instead. And we also did some benchmarks too. If you're doing some intensive work like gaming or video editing or whatnot, I would recommend you to use either performance or optimized mode most of the time. But if you're just gonna go for, let's just say, typing some documents or if you want to do voiceover and whatnot then you can either select cool or quiet and one small tip right here you can get some kick stands and then adhere them to the bottom of the laptop or just use some basic laptop stands the one that i have here is from Bacious and then it folds up into the laptop to keep it compact but i can have a really quick deployment time just flip it open and then i can use the laptop at an angle for better cooling and also for better typing ergonomics and tip number four that I have for you here is actually the Dell Premier Color Utility. Now, one of the best things that I love about the XPS 15 9500 is obviously the screen. It's massive, thin bezels all around. I mean, you can see it right here, right? But color is a rather subjective thing though. Some people like their displays colder, some like it warmer, but some just like it to be more natural looking. 
but whatever your choice is i suggest starting off by just simply selecting some of the built-in color profiles in the dell premier color utility the xps 159500 comes shipped with the vibrant color profile out of the box set as default while it does truly look beautiful, I ended up using sRGB color profile instead because in content creation workflow, it uses sRGB most of the time. There are also other color profiles like Adobe RGB or DCI-P3 color profile. Well, those are up for you to explore. There are also DAOs to fine tune the color profile to your personal liking too. And also you can have apps, specific apps to automatically switch to one particular color profile so for example, if you want to launch Netflix, then it will switch to DCI-P3 or maybe if you want to open Adobe Photoshop, then you'll go into sRGB mode. You can do that in the Dell Premier Color software as well. And as a quick mention, the Dell Premier Color does have a built-in color calibration applet built in. But unfortunately though, currently it only supports two different color emitters. And our x ray i1 Display Pro Plus is currently unsupported, so we can't share our experience using this little applet with you. But we'll definitely post it in our social media when the Dell Premier Color supports our color emitter, so follow us there. And finally, tip number 5, the print screen key on the Dell XPS 15 9500. Well, we complained about it in our full review because Dell, for some reason, they put a dedicated insert key but not a dedicated print screen key. It annoys me because I do use the function keys as in the F1 to F12, those kind of buttons for my work and I don't want to press Fn plus F10 keys just to take a simple screenshot. And surprisingly though, this is actually an easy fix. I use a little applet called Auto Hotkey or AHK for short and program the F10 key to become print screen. I'll share my simple AHK script for you down at the description below or if you want a pre compiled AHK file and also a dedicated how to install guide, check it out at the description below because yeah, now my F10 key is technically just print screen. And as a bonus tip for you guys, the XPS 15 and the XPS 17 can be upgraded. So you have two M.2 SSD slots and also two sodium slots that are openly accessible for you to tinker around. But of course, that is at your own risk. For my case, I slotted in another 512 gigs SSD as my quote unquote work drive. And then since this laptop already has 32 gigs of RAM, that's enough for me and I didn't need to do anything else. And that's it. If you got yourself a brand new XPS laptop, I hope this little video actually helps you out. But if you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. We'll answer them whenever we can. And I hope you enjoy your purchase of the brand new XPS laptop. I'll see you guys in the next video.